whether you're a Christian or not, when someone insults you, it's common to want to insult them back. But what happens next? It often leads to a heated argument or even escalates to violence. You might end up fighting, either beating the person or getting beaten. In the end, you may feel like you've won and become a hero, or your opponent may feel the same way. But ask yourself, did you do the right thing? For Christians, did you act the way God wants you to do? Instead, think about what would have happened if you remained silent or calmly told the offender that their words were hurtful and you would prefer to make peace. For Christians, it is written, if possible, be at peace with all men. My message for you today is, whether you are a Christian or not, when someone insults you, don't retaliate with insults. Even if you are physically stronger, think about the consequences. If you are non-Christian, you may have broken the law and could face legal consequences. And deep down, you know what you did wasn't right. If you are a Christian, you may have also broken the law and could face legal consequences. Also, you have gone against what God teaches you. God instructs you to be slow to anger. What benefit is there in returning evil for evil? What would it cost you to turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to insults? Yes, insults can hurt, but what if you don't let them bother you? Remind yourself that you know your worth and that the offender's words are not true. Then move on from it. And what if the insults are true? Maybe you do have a physical disability. For Christians, tell yourself, I know my worth and God loves me despite my limitations. If you are non-Christian, remind yourself that you are unique in your own way and you know your worth. We all will die someday, at different ages, some at 100, some at 30, some even at 20. We don't know when our time will come, so live life peacefully and happily. Enjoy life while you have it. Do good, stay away from evil, and don't let insults get to you. Let them say what they want, but remember it doesn't define you. Some people are fools, and it's best not to argue with them or even try correcting them. However, if your instincts tell you that something can be done to promote peace, edify the offender so that peace may reign. There is no profit in returning evil for evil. For Christians, why should you allow Satan to use someone to make you sin against your God, against the one who loves you and gave his son for you, through whom you have redemption and salvation? Why should you bring grief to God and joy to the devil? I have witnessed insults that turned into fights and even gunshots. But what was gained? A life was taken, and the one who shot is now imprisoned for life. So ask yourself, what was the gain? Be wise.